We go to the top of the sixth inning, 6-2, six to two, Licking Valley in search of their first state championship. Leads this one over Kenton Ridge. Hitter 6, 7, and 8, Elisa Matthews leads it off with a ground ball to second. Hughes makes the play, one out here in the sixth. Yeah, I definitely say if uh, things continue the way they are, you're looking at probably the MVP of this particular state uh, championship run and this young lady in the circle right now, McCombs. Well, Shelby McCombs with nine strikeouts. That's pitching. Offensively, she got a single and a run scored in the last inning. She's one for three at the plate. Now Haley Dillon is the batter for Kenton Ridge. One out and nobody on here in the sixth inning. And to boot, she's got some excellent base running decisions that she has made as well. So she's contributed to every phase of the game today. And Shelby McCombs and her teammates are playing with a heavy heart. They lost their classmate. Tell you more about that in a moment as Skeese throws across, but not in time. The block had to pull her foot there to make the play, and Haley Dillon is safe at first. Looks like the ball was just wide of the bag, and she tried to get back to make the tag, but not in time. So an error on the throw, a runner at first now with one out for Monica Foster. She takes a pitch down low for a ball. Getting back to that story, their classmate, Janae McNichols, was in a car accident last Monday. She passed away on Friday. And uh, after the game yesterday, after winning the semifinals, McCombs said, we are playing for Janae. You know, it's just an unfortunate thing, 16 years old. Um, but she went to Lakewood High School, so it's, it's in their area, but these girls all knew her. And They're all friends. And well, the runner moves down to second base, safe there after Kevin Ball was able, unable to come up with it. So uh, runner in scoring position now with one out. Ball pops up in Kavanaugh's glove and wasn't able to get it down there in time. Nice hustle. The runner at second, one out. Now a three and one count to Monica Foster. You know, Dylan's had a pretty good day. Number 14 there standing out on, uh, on second base right now. She's uh, defensively done some good things. Uh, you, know, you got to look at all of the pieces, parts that uh, make up a victory. Three and one to Foster with the runner on second. One out here in the sixth. Foul ball. Run the count full. Ken Ridge comes in at 31 and two. They've won 19, make it 20 games in a row now. They're down here six to two. A swing and a miss, the 10th strikeout for McCombs, two away in the sixth inning. McCole pulls the string on the outside corner. There's Sarah Alba, one for two with a strikeout and single. She swings and misses on a very good off-speed pitch there by Shelby McCombs. Haley Dillon still at second base, but now two outs. The one and one count to Alba. Count evens at one and one. There's a look at Dillon at second base. That went in the dirt. 
Three and one now to Sarah Alba with Lyric Kinzer waiting on deck. High for ball four. So two on with two out. We go back to the top of the order. Larry Kinzer. It's reached pace twice today. She's 0 for 2 with the walk and takes strike one from the Colts. Kind of the running slap wasn't able to keep it in in fair territory. Now the 0-2 pitch to stop the point. One and two. Well, the Licking Valley crowd wanted that one. They're up six to two. Didn't miss by much, but we're sitting up here and uh, we're not down there right by the plate. That's in the dirt. Quick throw to first. Good smother by Locke. And the ball didn't get away. And the count even at two and two. And by she, she is uh, quick to send that, that ball back out there. She's want to keep those runners in check. That one blew foul and out of play. Now remains two and two. Two on, two out here in the sixth. Kenton Rich Cougars batting. Down six to two. Shelby McCombs in the circle. Looking for her 11th strikeout of the night. Off the plank, full count. Just a bit low and outside. Kinzer's done a yeoman's job of working this count full. Here's the payoff pitch. A blooper. It's in there for a base hit. Around third comes Dillon. She'll score. Six to three. Two out RBI single for Lyric Kinzer. Well, Kenton Ridge is just not done. They're going to keep, uh, and she did a great job of working this count, as you said, you know, got, got a pitch to hit and delivered it to center field. Gets the RBI single. So now Brittany Harding, two outs and two on, bouncing ball. Second baseman had it, scores it, here comes a runner to the plate, and she is safe at the plate. And all the runners move up another base. Alba is safe at home to make it six to four. Kinzer moves all the way to third, and Harding moves to second. Oh my, we have a ball game here. Little ball that gets tries to get handcuffed, and yet the runner gets beat, get into the plate, but then here is the play at the plate. Kavanaugh just drops the ball. Otherwise, she would have had that out, and final out, gotten them out of the inning. But unfortunately, the ball dropped out. I'm assuming that'll be a hit. Six to four. Lopez batting with the tying runners aboard. Well, Lopez has been in this position before to deliver that that all-important hit. Now McCombs struggling a little bit, 2-0. Oh. Uh, perhaps McCombs knows that uh, Lopez can uh, can make something happen here, so she doesn't want to give her anything that's uh, too good and too on the plate. That went up and out. Here comes the runner from third. Kinzer slides home safely. It's 6-5, to five, and Harding moves to third.
So Ken Ridge able to answer the three runs that Licking Valley just put up. And once again, it's a one-run game. Just the pitch gets away from Kavanaugh, and then the run comes in. Everybody moves up. And again, Shelby and McCombs calls for her infield to come to the plate or come to the center of the diamond. Well, the go-ahead run is at the plate. And uh, what better person than to be than Lopez be in the position to help herself out and get Kenton Ridge uh, back in a situation where uh, we got a tall, uh, tie ball game going into the final inning of play. This was a scoreless game heading into the bottom of the fourth. Now in the top of the sixth, it is six to five, Licking Valley. Crooked numbers on the board for both of these teams the last two times they've been at bat. And a 3-0 count here to Lopez. There's a strike. Lopez today, one for three. She singled back in the third inning. Pop up on the infield, this one trouble. In comes the center fielder, McConnell makes the catch for the final out of the inning. So Kenton Ridge is able to score three and make this a one-run game as we move to the bottom half of the sixth inning here in the D2 state championship. Well, if you'd like to watch this game again, look for it and other high school state championship games only on Time Warner Cable Local On Demand on Channel 411. You can pause, fast forward, rewind, even do instant replays. Local On Demand is free with Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Now, after the offense we've seen now, these last couple of innings, this one is up in the air. Three runs in the bottom of the fourth, three runs in the bottom of the fifth for Licking Valley. Top of the fifth, two runs for Kenton Ridge. Three runs in the top of the sixth. Let's take a look back now at some of these runs. First one was a Sierra McConnell home run, a solo shot back in the fourth. Well, that was a nice, nice hit by her long shot. 212 feet out there. And the ball got away from Kevin Baugh there and a run scored for Kent Ridge. Six to five here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Hitters eight, nine, and one. Mackenzie Hoyt, Whitney Tressler, and Corey Kevin Baugh. That pitch up for a ball. With as much offense as we've seen in the last uh, three innings of this uh, game, you know, really the, the really the, the fourth inning, we got three on the board, and then uh, things kind of broke loose in the fifth and uh, top of the sixth, and here we are in the bottom of the sixth, and uh, we still got it. It's a really, really exciting ball game where the offenses have taken over the game. A little bit of miscues here and there, a little bit of... Um, uh, defensive mistakes, but the offense has really, really pushed it to the defense. Now, these two teams have had such good offenses throughout the year. And here in the state championship game, they both come up big. Over Licking Valley with one more run, lead at six to five. This is uh, actually Hughes who's batting. She pinch ran for Mackenzie Hoyt. Back in the fourth. She started the game at second base. Hoyt was the designated player. She came, came in to pinch run, and now she's batting here with the two and two count. I mean, you'd like to see these kind of ball games in this kind of, uh, you know, situation. It's a title game for the state of Ohio. All the teams in the state of Ohio who will compete in this division uh, would love to be in the shoes of these young ladies right now. But to get this kind of performance out of both teams, uh, this is a, this